Hello and welcome to another Mech Warrior Online World Championship match. And tonight we have one FWG versus AKA Knights. And starting over here on this side, we've got the AKA Knights, which I'm just going to shorten down to Knights, just because a little too much to talk about to say it one time there. And oh man, you can hear the phone ringing in the background. So unprofessional. I can't do anything about it at this moment. It will ring one more time, most likely. And coming along this side, we have one FWG. And let us take a second to uh, move in here. And we're going to bring up the cursor. Let's uh, see what some of these guys are running. Their executioner's got some small pulse, medium pulse, ultra fives and tens on that Kodiak. Ooh, uh, LRM tens on the Hunchback 4J. Some small pulse on the lights as they move forward there. All right, let's see how the action is going to start because it looks like it's all going to start on this side near epsilon as both teams are moving down into this lower area and we can take a second here to check out a few of knight's builds we've got an srm jenner 2c we've got an urban mech oh how fun with large lasers and machine guns srm medium pulse got some large pulse lasers there just looks like a nice uh combination of weapons but the fighting has begun so let's get into it we've got the forces collapsing around in epsilon area the knights are able to get to the point and capture it but they are taking a fair amount of damage as at one fwg has a slight lead in the health Ooh, especially with the uh, eternal eternal hell in his storm crow is down to 53 percent he is quite low but oh wow the jenner oxide four at one fwg is being caught out in the back there but he's playing squirrel is he getting the majority of the knights to turn around and pay attention to him as the rest of FWG is able to get into a nice firing positions along the ridge line there, shooting back at knights now that they are out in the open. So we'll see if that one death there from one FWG was actually worth it as they managed to take down a Kodiak for knights. We can see those LRMs actually coming into fairly good use here as they pound this Hunchback 2C back into position, taking off some of his weapons. Let us pull back here and see the positioning of 1FWG as both teams claim one more kill. It's still a fairly even fight, although 1FWG does have the advantage in health right now with two of Knights under 50% health. Very critical, about to fall over as they start pushing forward, taking off really big chunks of this Timberwolf here, which we stop up for a second. We'll check his status. You can see he orange everywhere. You can take a look at some of the opponents. That torso is about to go there. Oh yes, just the health loss from the guys in Knights is just starting to catch up with them. And the remaining mechs are very low with multiple mechs now below 40% down to five for knights as 1FWG pushes forward, maintaining a really good firing line here as they come around the edge. They're not pushing too far. They're not overextending. They're just getting their angle, taking shots, and then sticking together, and then moving once they've cleared the threat. As you see here, Black Knight out in the open gets taken out by the team leader, Warsteiner. And it looks like this match will go to 1FWG with a very nice brawl around Epsilon. So, I wonder, it's definitely an aspect of it was that Jenner running through the back. Maybe not the best decision for the Jenner in terms of his uh, well-being, but it did allow the team to secure good firing positions along that side and push forward for the victory. So, good job. 1FWG on taking this win. And yeah, thanks for watching this MechWarrior Online World Championship match, and good hunting.